At 72, Denis Sassungweso is one of Africa's oldest and longest serving presidents. He's been in power for 32 years. And on Sunday, he wants another five. Last year, Ngweso pushed through constitutional changes to remove term and age limits that would have prevented him from seeking re-election. His supporters credit him with developing the oil-rich producing Central African country, plus the stability it has enjoyed since the 1997 civil war. When you go around the country, all you see is peace. From the north to the south, people are just enjoying peace. They are happy with how far Congo has come. Some tell me, Mr. President, there's a little bit of trouble here in Brazzaville, but soon we know even here it will be peaceful. But seven other candidates want to deny Ngueso a chance to remain in power. They include former army chief Jean-Marie Mokoko and Guy Bryce Parfait Colelas, who led protests and an opposition boycott against last year's referendum. The opposition is already crying foul over Sunday's election, with allegations of fraud that include voter bribery and registration of voters in multiple polling stations. They also accuse the Electoral Commission of partiality and say they will not accept what they call tainted results. The EU too is keeping off the vote. It says it will not be sending observers to monitor the election, but authorities here appear unmoved by the criticism. They say the EU is, quote, free not to send observers. The government also accuses the opposition of anarchy and trying to incite violence. Jane Keo, CCTV, Brazzaville, in the Republic of Congo.